Champagne, coke, sniffing, pussy licking Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. My name is Didi Bruckmeier. I am the vocalist of the notorious, uh, let's say, electronic performance group Fuckhead. <laughs> uh, it was founded in 1988 in Linz by Didi and his brother. I play since nearly 30 years, since 26 years in Fuckhead. And we make funny music. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> been around for more than 30 years and since then we started as a noise rock band maybe and then we moved more and more into electronic fields uh, now it's some kind of a mixture between uh, maybe, maybe extreme bass or the club music and still noise rock and since we started we always tried to create some blank spaces in the set where we can uh, do some performance stuff and uh, over the decades we developed some routines then we started to break them and so it's some kind of a some clown-esque <laughs> appearances on stage that sometimes irritate people a lot because they're not used to it in the club context and when we started in the hardcore context it also was very uh, disturbing for people uncool foolish stupid whatever but personally us it helps us a lot <laughs> and that's why we kept on doing this kind of uh, senseless experiments. <laughs> We developed some good things, as I said before, and we also did some really regular performance stuff where everything was choreographed, choreographed in a way. But now it's, I would say, 30% is, is stipulated and the rest is improvisation, I would say. So right now we, don't, we have to play a completely new set in other particular circumstances. And so whenever we feel it's appropriate, we do some stuff. And it's very spontaneous and we get in some particular moods because uh, because of exhaustion and the noise, because we try to create some, some sonic environments that stimulate also the subconscious. And then we, we get carried away. Sometimes, sometimes not, however. But it never has to become a routine. When we lose spontaneity and become some kind of a show, then it's getting boring for us. Then we start to break it again. And the Dreck spricht to me. So siehst du die Welt. Do not buy props, find them. But today we bought some sweeties, but the rest of this crap is normally we stroll around in the neighborhoods and, and collect stuff. 
dustbins wherever we find whatever we find and when it, if we think it's appropriate and useful for us we, we we take it with us and try to give it a place <laughs> and sometimes people uh, things find the right place in the show sometimes not <laughs> I mean with the performance normally the audience is involved a lot in the performance yeah. but now during corona times it's difficult because we are not allowed to lick on the audience and stuff like this or stick them together with gaffer tape and chase them from here to there and stuff like this actually it's all not allowed so it's a bit different now because our little routine mainly happens on stage I mean, the thing with being banned from certain clubs, it's funny that sometimes it was only, it only was a little misunderstanding because yep. they saw YouTube videos yeah. okay. shot with yeah. bad cameras. It looked like the stage is burning, but actually yeah. it was only massive light flickering and somebody saw the video and said it's burning and they called us before we played there and said like, listen guys, there is no fire and whatever explosives allowed on stage. Yeah. We never we used, never like used that, that, that stuff. So. But this video and that video and also the fluid and the feathers, we won't have this, uh, we don't want to have this on stage. So it, it became a bit cleaner. Yeah. There were days when we came yeah, we with the car up, and everybody. We had to clean up our act. We came from a punk rock context, and what we really liked was the spontaneity and, and the simplicity of structures. And, and but we we tried them to create some some blank spaces or some kind of arena where we can, we can perform and do some some more stuff like just there. But, but of course, I really like this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I will do it forever. Yeah. But we started as a band, and so we tried to recur. Again. And actually, the whole project split up in a way because yeah. there's a side there's a side project that are mainly in theaters. Yeah, yeah. That is a proper yeah. theater shows where in the theater you have more the opportunity to <clears throat> um, to work in a, in a different context. So you have like three or four days times to build up, and you can set up the the light and the and and actors, and everything's more contained. Like here in a, in a live show, everything has to be very very fast and improvised, or we do it fast and improvised. But the other option is, uh, or the other way for us yeah, is to the channel these ideas yeah. into, into theatre and into like proper shows. So and also most of the performance stuff moved more towards the theatre thing is then mainly with little performance acts and on stage we play our music now during the concerts and do this little funny thing, whatever, interlude in the middle of the set. Yeah. We had to shift it actually because we tried to... to to get more in a professional uh, business context again, like festival stuff, and, and we were lucky for quite some time, but you don't have the time and you can't fuck up a stage when there is when you're not the headliner, actually. Yeah? Everything is now just like tuck, 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 yeah? Band in, band out. Okay, that's the way it is, yeah? And we tried to fit in, and it worked for quite some time, yeah? But what we really liked was that the long, uh, this, 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 this long, uh, uh, yeah, the surplus of time in a theater context. We all work as actors as well, so and he's still working with a theatre company. And so we try to develop some kind of a side career <laughs> for, yeah, for more experiments, actually. Yeah. It also has, it still has to be very immersive, sometimes it's controversial, but it's, um, yeah, it's comfortable to, to focus for a particular period of time on just one thing. <laughs> Your message touched my soul I used to be a homeboy Before I followed you So there is a there is a surface and there is something behind the surface or under the surface. And however, 
as much as we can scratch the surface of reality or people can and the rest is imagination that's all I think art is about and we never try to be very authentic of course it comes from us but it's in a way it's show business we really like it and we, we invest our energy on it when we're on stage but we are no no freaks in private life, no no bullies, no no people who try to automutilate them uh, into themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. in the in the bars just for fun. No. In a way it's some kind of theatre. Made that may sound conservative, but it is even theatre because it's about sound and vision and voices and text and the things behind the things. Thank you, Bratislava. Thank you so much, Bratislava. Take care, stay healthy. And we hope we meet again. When I will see you again. Thank you so much. Bye bye, thank you. We are so happy about the show. The first show I brought, because everything is closed. Thank you for picking up the chances to see these fools that have been around for more than 30 years. But we stay in shape if we want you to do the same. 